So you stuck around and see, we want to see how the sausage is made. We can do that for you. We're going to take you from raw ingredients, which are just three. We've got sodium bicarbonate, better known as baking soda. We've got organic coconut oil, and we have fragrance, which I always go with jasmine. I enjoy the scent of jasmine. Why do I make my own deodorant? Well, I make it because I can't pronounce some of the things that are in deodorant, consumer goods, fragrance. There's a lot of politics behind fragrance. Please, I urge you to Google fragrance and the politics behind fragrance. There's a lot more to it than you could ever imagine. So I make my own because I know what it is, and if I have to, I can eat it. I'm not going to eat it, but you could eat it. And the reason you can eat it is because this isn't overprocessed. In fact, you need to keep this in the refrigerator. 76 degrees is what coconut oil melts at, and you want to keep it below that. So in the summer, if you don't, it's just going to turn into a mess. So just keep it refrigerated. I keep it in the refrigerator all the time. Also, we're going to cover how to take your coconut oil, heat your coconut oil, add your baking soda to your coconut oil, put your fragrance in there, and get it in your container so you can have a usable product. Now, as you can see, I've used this numerous, numerous times. What I'll have to do next time is take it apart, get in here and clean her all up. But I love using products over if I can. And this is a great way to reuse some of the everyday stuff we throw away. So stick around. That's what the video is going to cover on how to make your deal. All right, let's melt some coconut oil, shall we? Microwave. 15 seconds. does not take very long to melt your coconut oil. And you're not going to want a complete melt. You're going to want it to be a little melted. You can mix it together. Let's take a look at that. We might have to put it in there a little while longer. Let's see what we got. I can feel the bowls warm. And what's going to happen is that's going to... Your coconut oil is actually going to pull heat from your bowl. But I'm going to put that in for another maybe five or ten seconds. Let's try that again. Ten seconds. See what we can do. That was another ten seconds. And what will happen is I will leave that sit and finish melting and it'll be ready in about two or three minutes. There's our coconut oil. So now what I do is I take our three tablespoons sodium or of uh, baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, and I mix it all up. You just use like a little silicone spatula. Just mix her up. Now for the scent, it's going to be very, it's going to be unique to how you like your, to, to, how much you like it to smell. I don't like it to uh, be overbearing, so I don't put 15, I guess, dots or 15 drips of the baking soda in there. It's not baking soda. It is, of course, jasmine. So we put the jasmine in. We're getting there. We're getting there. You can see that the when you pull through that there's a little bit of a gap there. See that? Continue to mix her up. Now we can put her in a water bath. I've got a water bath sitting right there. And that'll cool it down too. But I don't know if that's even going to be necessary. This is kind of almost at the perfect temperature. Yeah, this is going to be perfect. Now what I usually do is if I put it in a water bath, just put it in there, stir it around a little bit, take it to this consistency right here. You see that? It won't be long, and this will be ready to go in. All right, with our complete guide to making deodorant, where would we be without talking about deodorant containers? My vast knowledge of deodorant containers, used ones specifically, this is a used container, makes me very popular at parties, I'm telling you. You do want to know, on the other hand, what exactly you're going to get yourself into if you're using the wrong container. You want to use the right container and you want to use a bottom fill container. That's what this is called is a bottom fill container. This push plate right here makes contact with this container all the way around. There's no gaps. It's tight. See that? If I try to wiggle it around, there's no wiggle room for your product to squeak by that, that push plate and end up at the bottom. We do not want product down there.
So if you're going to use a used one, this is a used one, this is a used container, make sure that your push plate is tight against the side of your container. If it's not, you need to get one that is, and Amazon will sell you some, and I'll put a description right down, or I'll put a link right in the description down there. So let's get our perfectly temperatured product into our correct deodorant container, shall we? So now we're ready to put it in the container. So let's get a container over here. Get a little scoop of our stuff. Let's switch sides because I am right-handed. Little scoop of our stuff. And this is a little messy. Let's get you in the camera. See that? No, you don't because you're not in the camera. There you go. Just like that. I pack her down in there. Just like that. Now what I do is off camera, I'm going to tamp it down. Just like that. And what that does, I'm going to show you, is you have your little push plate down here that operates from the screw and pushes your product up. And what that does is that sets it down inside there. So when you get towards the end of your deodorant, it just doesn't fall out. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this out of the way. We're going to pull it down a little bit. I'm going to tamp it again. And I'm going to go all the way to the bottom with it. Actually, I'm not going to go quite to the bottom. I just want to avoid air pockets and, and uh, get it solid in there as I can. So we're going to put some more product in. And it's going to continue to pull. Here, let me show you. Set the deodorant down. It's going to continue to pull coldness or chill out of this bowl. So it's going to get thicker and thicker. Now it's almost like a warm butter. Let's get that in there. Let's try to keep you in a picture so you can see what I'm up to. I'm going to tamp it down again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it does fly sometimes. What happens is you'll have a air pocket in there and the air pocket will explode towards the top and then it throws out little pieces of deodorant, which again, you know the ingredients, so it's not going to hurt you. I'm going to tamp it down just a little bit more. Okay, now we're going to run her down to the bottom. And I know how to do this just because I've made it so many, so many times. There was a lot of trial and error. I like making my own deodorant. It works really good for me. Now you can put other things in there. I've heard of people putting arrowroot in there. I've heard of some people putting coconut flour in there as a thickener. But as you can tell, this is pretty stinking. This is pretty thick. Um, it's not going to go anywhere. I'm just going to scoop the bowl out. And any leftovers I just keep, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to get rotten. It's coconut oil, which is very, very, very stable. Now you can form the little crown, the little top. You can be the artist, the artist in your family. See that? Just like that. Because if you leave it all sharp and jagged, the first time you jam it on your, on your underarm and you start uh, using it, yeah, it can get sharp. So nice and smooth. And there it is. Is that not a thing of beauty? Is that not a thing of beauty? So now I'm going to wipe her down. Just like this. Paper towel. And I stay away from the top with the paper towel, otherwise I might pull it all off. So I'll just take my thumb. And we'll clean all that excess off. Just like so. Just like so. That is so clean and great. There it is. And this product... Again, I just use a jasmine, and it works really good. Now, you can get many different scents uh, that you can add to it, whatever you want. I just happen to go with jasmine, and I've got it, and I've got a lot left, so I'll be using it for years on end and years to come. This is deodorant, and this is Hap for Hap Around the House. Thanks for spending some time around my house. If you like our videos, hit the like button, and go ahead and subscribe, too. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.